I think that this is one of the most amazing conferences that I've been to in my entire life. And I've been to many. I've been uh, arranging conferences myself for the last seven years and speaking at many. So I would like to thank Canatech so much. And if we can please give Canatech and ourselves a round of applause. It is really amazing to be here as a Swedish uh, person because even though we are the largest farm, we are small. So I wish to say to you, I'm new in the business. I'm not a professor. I co-own a startup business. So you are the top of the, the rank here. And I would love to, for us to join forces and build alliances. So I just want to tell you that I'm very humble and grateful that I'm here. So I wonder, is anybody here in the building industry? Yes? OK. So I'm just going to pass around uh, the hemp the hemp lime, the hemp creed. You can uh, pass it around. It falls off a little bit, but I just want you all to feel it so that you uh, uh, understand how beautiful this material is. Okay, and uh, I have uh, lived on and off in South Africa since 2003. When I live here, I live in Guguleto, which is a township outside of Cape Town. And there I live in a typical RDP house, which is a governmental uh, social housing program that's been going on in South Africa since 1994. Uh, so I have learned that in African culture you also should give credit and thanks to the people who brought you to the party. So I really want to do that. So I want to thank my brother Teba Shumba. He's not in here right now. He's out mingling around. I wouldn't know anybody here in Cape Town if it wasn't for him. And I'm brought here by Falcon Rock Media and Miriam Davidovich. And I'm collaborating with this brother here, who we're going to hear his wise words later, Russ Ramon Benjamin Adams from Cannabis African Enterprise. OK. So I didn't go into the history of hemp, because we have learned this from so many future speakers. But we all know that we've been working with hemp for so many years. We have done textile. This is a Cape Townian designer. It's linen and hemp. Flax is also working perfect together with hemp. We have eaten it for many years. We have done ropes with it and sails and the building material. So I'm a construction engineer, educated at just a few blocks away from here, CPUT, Cape Technical and Peninsula University. And uh, I'm very thankful that I've been educated in this country and uh, I want to give back. So I am co-founder and CEO of or the mother of these babies. This is our first, um, our first babies of our family of an oldest hemp, hemp company in Sweden. Uh, we have a beautiful farm and you are welcome to come and visit anytime. And what we want to do is that uh, we want to be a traceable company. So we are mostly doing this uh, for the food because it contains so, so high protein. And uh, as you all know, the consumption and the production around what we eat and what we drink has to do with the climate changes of this world. And we all know that we need to contribute to that change. So currently we're working in Sweden with the top of the flower uh, for the food. But I, as an engineer and visionary entrepreneur, uh, I really, really, really am interested in the fibers. And it's in the industrial hemp, and that's where I think that the job opportunities are laying, the IPs, the innovation, creation of new products that we can't even dream of today, new research, new materials that we don't know today. 
In 10 years time, I think the world is going to look totally different. So why did I drag up this? Well, I wish I, I could have said that it's made in Sweden and it's out of heaven. Uh, but it's not, but we have a company in Sweden that makes this. I just didn't uh, get the opportunity to buy one yet. So this is the old plastic that we work with, but you, as you know, hemp can also do bioplastic. Everything that raw oil can do, hemp can do. So I wonder, are you working within Agenda 2030 here? Is anybody uh, familiar with uh, UN 17 development goals? Yes, yes, wonderful. So I'm not gonna go into it so much if you're not used to working with it. I just wanna say that there, there is a large opportunity to do business with the UN regarding these 17 development goals. And uh, I, for example, believe that uh, number one, eradicate poverty, and uh, number two, zero hunger, good health, is something that can be straight and direct affected by help. The same with sustainable cities and communities, partnership for the goals, because we need to collaborate because we are a new industry. Even if some of you have been working in this industry for 20 years, and I have only been here for one year, there are other industries that have been here for long and that are big. Okay, so speakers before me have spoken about their story and their why. Can you hear me well? Yes, yes because now my important part comes. Because you might be sitting there like, what is this Swedish woman doing here? Like, what, why, why is she in South Africa? So my why is this woman here. It's Nomalanga. And she is the mother of my oldest son, who is the oldest son to the oldest son to the oldest son of the oldest son of the Matikinga family. So she has taught me so much. She has given me so much. Without her, I wouldn't have a son. Sadly, she passed away from cancer in August. She has worked her whole life. She has never had a free day. She has never lived in a healthy house or eaten healthy food. So, I wish to give back to her and to Mother Earth and to everything that this country has taught to me. And I do believe that since the government of South Africa are building these RDP houses, so there is an allocated fund, you could just as well build them with hemp that is locally grown, that is an empowerment and freedom for the people. You can still get your house for free as a subsidization, and the electricity and water and sanitation and sewage that you also get a certain amount per month. But what if you could get it for free and learn how to build and build together? I have learned how to build with Helpline. It's very easy. I can teach anybody to do it. Anybody can build with Helpline. It's, it's very safe. So now you have heard my why. My dream ambition to build sustainable hemp houses that are locally grown with innovative water, sanitation, and energy solution. And do housing and communities out of that. Tourist destination, markets, food security, and so on. We, the, the sky is the limit. It's only our imagination. So I'm not the only one concerned about the building industry that stands for 40% of this planet's CO2 emissions. This is Bill Gates on LinkedIn three weeks ago saying buildings are bad for the climate. Does anybody know Bill? I don't, but I would like to meet him. 
and I would like to show him this video. Okay. In France, was to secure uh, a hem construction, to have hem construction of quality of uh, buildings, uh, quality of life in buildings, uh, being uh, uh, making standards of uh, hem construction, construction rules, and uh, and to, to to secure the the construction with hem. We need to that uh, the product uh, is uh, people heard about this product. Uh, people trust in this product in terms of uh, performances, in terms of uh, quality, in terms of security. Because uh, people who are uh, constructing the house want to build their house for hundred years, not for ten. There is a negative footprint. The people who are uh, being in uh, such houses are feel very good there is uh, a very high comfort in living in uh, in such uh, houses and there is very low energy consumption for winter and a very high uh, comfort for summer uh, summer comfort so i don't have much time left uh, i'm just going to show you and go through some pictures so this is pictures that i have taken and i do believe that i have first hand experience of living in a way that hemp could solve. Do you know Greta? Greta Thunberg? She's Swedish and she's fighting for the climate. And I do believe that hemp can be a great answer to the climate uh, devastation of the planet that we all experience. But we are meeting a lot of hemp phobia people or cannabis phobia people. So it's difficult to get the conversation to be on a really, really high level and legislation needs to be changed. There needs to be a separation for industrial hemp in South Africa because South Africa is suffering from a lot of uh, unemployment, especially amongst the youth. The unemployment rate is even higher amongst the youth. And people are leaving, Trevor Noah and other people are leaving the country, brain drain. So somebody said, let's export hemp instead of people. And this is a, a slide from the Cannabis Development Council of South Africa. We have representatives from them here. I've taken it from their website. And here you can see we have been speaking a lot about medical, recreational, CBD, cannabinoids, and so forth. And I think that's great. I know nothing about that industry. I'm working in the industrial hemp. And I do think that that is also a way to bring in a more work opportunities. And I also think that every one of you that's going to work with the cannabinoid, what are you going to do with the fiber? Because you're still going to have fiber. So this is the whole plant that needs to come to South Africa to make this happen, to look at the infinite potential of industrial hemp, industrial cannabis, alongside, of course, with the medical and recreational, but also the crop. It's an agricultural crop that, that will also diversify for the farmers because you don't need any, any crops in between. So there is a great for a farmer to also have hemp on his farm. And the clothing industry, they're speaking about, they're gonna be 100% circular, H&M. This is a brand from South Africa, Old Stutter, and she's also Swedish. I'm wearing a Kryptonian Danielle Janeira design of hemp and linen. And it's going mainstream and about plastic in hemp, we don't have time for today. But if you want me to come and maybe help you to build, teach you, uh, and we can build together, let me come. This is my, for my courses that I've been having in Sweden, but we have it with international builders, like you saw Daniel Davillier, general manager of Tradical. Tradical being the lime company that uh, is good for building with hemp. So, I thank you so much for your time. Let's create a better world together. 
Let's make hemp the future and the answer for a sustainable world for all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.